The world of transfers is kicking on. We know that West Ham are after Kurt Zuma. We know that, uh, Simon. Yep. I hear this morning that Tottenham might be in for him as well. They might uh, show their hand on Kurt Zuma because at the moment there is a bit of disparity in terms of what the, pair, the player wants to be paid and maybe what another Premier League club will pay him. Yeah. And I think that applies in so many cases at this particular time, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's specifically in very cent very uh, key positions like centre-backs or centre-forwards. There, there is an opportunity to leverage the interest that you have in you and turn yourself into a bidding war between two clubs that are ultimately after your services. I mean, the level that these players are getting paid, I don't think they realise that they're born, but, but by the same token, you can't blame them if the world keeps on saying yes to them every time they ask for something more, yeah. then you're going to keep on asking for more, aren't they? Um, Kurt Zuma... I don't know. I mean, I, I, he's a decent centre back. You know, it always um, it astounds me. I'm not suggesting that West Ham and, and Tottenham are bona fide competitors for the top four, but if you're trying to reach that level and a player isn't considered good enough for a team that's in that level, I wonder why you think you, he's good enough for your level. But I suspect that's all coaches can suggest they can do something better with a player than other coaches have done previously. Yeah. I'm not one of those that looks at Kurt Zuma and thinks, brilliant centre back. I, I think he's all right. I think he's all right, but I mean, again, goes to the, goes to the central theme in certain positions. I mean, on no way, with due respect, and people say, "Well, he's doing well." Is my view as Harry Maguire an eighteen million pound centre back? Yeah, I don't think he's in the same postal code as quality as Virgil Van Dijk. And then the argument would be saying, "Well, you know, Liverpool nicked him for seventy five million quid, Virgil Van Dijk. If you try to buy him now, mm. he'd be a hundred million pound plus." But these are the marketplaces, and it'll be interesting to see. West Ham, I would have thought that their interest would have been in other positions because it surprises me that their focal point is a centre-half. Yeah. Well, you, you would think and so. And they didn't want to pay 30 million quid last year for Tarkowski, did they? Although Burnley were pushing up to 40, weren't they? So yeah. I think they were prepared to pay 30 million last year. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.